talk about nice interaction. Full blast. Uh, okay, so we have a toaster here. Uh, and it's a pretty regular toaster, Design 2001, so I guess it's from 2001. It's actually called Design 2001, a space toaster. And it's got some uh, functions on it. The regular uh, heat setting. And there's three buttons. Can you guess what those buttons are? I can are? guess. Mm? That's defrost, obviously. Cancel or eject, I guess. Right. Extra heat. Extra heat. <laughs> That's what you're guessing. Okay. I can't see what it is. Oh, I, some I, I know what it is. I googled it, actually. Hmm. So maybe, well, let's see if you can figure out what it is. As you can see, this toaster is not made for uh, failed sourdough Elong bread. <laughs> Elongated bread. Start it. You're choosing setting four. Setting oh. Uh, oh. Oh. So what does it do? It turns the lights on. Yeah. So it's a light switch, and the defrost button doesn't work now. No, this one. That works. So, oh, ah, yeah. yeah, but you can't have them both on. But I mean, what does the defrost button on a toaster do, really? Defrost stuff. It's brilliant. I mean, okay. So, are you assuming that it will only defrost it, or because I was, I'm, I haven't tried that one actually. But I'm thinking that okay, if you have frozen bread and you put it in here, then you push the defrost button so that it heats it first and then toasts it to your preferred number in this case. But how does it know? I have no clue how it works. Yeah, exactly. How does it know what's the... If it's defrosted. Yeah. And, or is it just the defrost? But then this doesn't make any sense. No, exactly. So maybe that doesn't make sense now. Another peculiar thing is here, like those numbers. What do you think those mean? One means less burnt and uh, six means burnt beyond recognition. Could be. I mean, I when I was thinking about it, I was like, do these correspond to minutes? That would be sort of reasonable to think that. Mm -hmm. Okay, one is one minute, two is two minutes. It can't be degrees. No, of course not. No, but there are degrees of burn, yeah. Third degree burn. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is uh, time to... Yeah, now, okay, well, let's turn them. Yeah. And that's also one thing that I don't understand about this one. Uh, does it affect... Like, if you turn this one afterwards, do you prolong the time? You see, it popped up. Popped up, so it shortens the... Or <laughs> it divides by 10. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make so a... instead of uh, defrost, it's just to warm stuff. Exactly, it's just warming it. I mean, I thought that's what these are supposed to do. These two buttons, they're sort of... Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Like, who came up with this brilliant idea of adding buttons for something that... Because nobody ever moves this anyway. Everybody keeps it on on their preferred level and never used that. And then they use the buttons instead. That's what they thought. You and do you have a toaster? Uh, I do, yes. And you have those buttons as well? Uh, I don't know. Actually, the cancel button I use a lot. It's very good. Yeah. But it's sort of strange to place it in the front here. Don't you think? Why? I mean, if you want to cancel, like how did you do with your old toaster, the one that your mother and father had? Uh, just turn it upside down. <laughs> what? <laughs> because I used to do like this. I was pulling this oh, one. Oh yeah. Uh. So I mean, it, wouldn't it make more sense to place the cancel button yeah. on the bottom here first, or at the top, where you, when you actually see that oh shit, it's burning, then you quickly see oh cancel button, and then you have yeah. like one on each side. Or <laughs> all the way around, yeah. Yeah, like a rim, you just press it in. Ooh, a touch rim. Yeah. Or something really annoying, so if you have a, a sort of light sensor here, so when you put your head over it, it cancels. <laughs> <laughs> Some modern toasters have this brilliant uh, invention that you can actually lift. Uh, while you're toasting it, you can lift uh, up the bread to see if it's done. Check it, you don't need to abort it, because I mean the problem is uh, when you cannot really see uh, 
whether it's done or not, you cancel it to see, okay, I need to have some more. And then, and then you forget about the bloody bread. Exactly, and then you burn it. It would be nice if it actually could measure the bread in some, some sense and like a smart mm. toaster that yeah. pops it out when it's that perfect, was perfectly brown, like exactly. a camera or something. That was exactly what I was uh, thinking about because I mean, toasters have been looking like this for a long time. Like, how would you sort of reinvent the toaster? Like, what are the qualities of a good toaster? It's tricky because this spread, for instance. Exactly. It's gonna be. I mean, it's uh, when, when that's the right color, it's rye bread, basically. Uh, it's done already from when it's, you put it down. No, it, it doesn't even look toasted, and it's. This one is perfect, like this. But I mean, this one wouldn't be toasted at all if you would compare with the ordinary white toast. Mm. I mean, because what you're really after is not really the color; you're after the crispiness, mm. and you use sort of color to assess the crispiness. So, so you can have like a small arm that pinches it, and then have like sound recording that. Yeah, would it? Would that be stupid? That's actually a brilliant solution, <laughs> and then you could get rid of everything. Because everybody wants to have their toast exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, so the only thing you need to do is calibrate it with your perfect pitch. So you have to toast it in somebody else's toaster, bring it to your toaster and sort of calibrate it for your perfect pitch toast. Oh, you can have an app for it. <laughs> I mean, this knock thing, I mean, it should be fairly straightforward to me. It's not supposed to knock, it's just... Ah, you mean push. <laughs> I mean, that's a beautiful sound. Yeah, six settings. I mean, come on. Six, I actually measured the time. Let's do that. Do you have some butter? Yeah, of course, in the fridge. Which one of these is... Uh, is this countdown? Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna start it now. It's on one. Well, it was one minute. So is this gonna be six minutes then? We have to find out. Can't we do the one minute again? I mean, we cannot be sure. <laughs> Two on each now. Ready? Yeah. Steady. Cook. So it's 57. So two. What do you think about that one? So I'm hoping it's two. Oh, but yeah, okay. You see, it's sort of stepless. Yeah, exactly. It means you can have it exactly like you want it. So let's start it. One nine. Added ten seconds. Let's do it again. Come on, we're scientists. Oh six. So let's type three. Then. So what are what are we expecting there? Like one fifteen. Between one fifteen and one twenty. So we're expecting one twenty. I'm thinking 115. No. no. Come on, this is absurd. Eight. That was the 140. So what do we make out of this? So do we assume that there's a sort of a baseline of one minute and then it starts and then adding just, from that? Yeah. Somehow. Do you wanna run it run it again? Run it 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 run it. Do you wanna run it run it again? Okay. The magic tractor. Is that a Swedish joke originally? Is it? 37. Whoa, go. my god. 212. So, quite arbitrary. And this must be sort of measured experimentally yeah like it's an empirical <laughs> finding that uh, so for a perfect uh, what rye toast you put it on for i mean then you could have uh, might as well put uh, sort of a banana you want to toast a banana this is the banana setting or you could just say one one ten one forty yeah like yeah it would make more sense but anyway you don't really care about that when you're toasting like when you're toasting you want to have the perfect sound on it. Uh, I have this uh, sort of uh, design thought experiment, mm -hmm. like making black box designs of stuff. Mm -hmm. So like a black box with a small red button. If this one would be a black box with a small red light or button, how would that work? Yeah, 
Yeah, because you could have only the cancel button. So it there's no automatic. You just put it in the bread and then <laughs> put it out when you want it out. That's cool. Could work. With a toaster, you don't really you don't want to do the, these things really. That you want to have perfect. a perfect crispy toast when you want to eat. Let's say that it's uh, got a lid, you open it, put the toast in there, close it, and it starts. When the toast is finished, like when it is perfect, then this uh, red button starts blinking. You have to press the button to open, or? Exactly. Wouldn't that be sort of the perfect toaster? Yeah. What else can you do in it? Baked potatoes? <laughs> for like frozen cinnamon rolls. I tried one the other day and it was too fucking big to fit <laughs> in the toaster. <laughs> so I put it on top and turned it on because I didn't want to turn on the oven just for one cinnamon roll. Right. Did it work? 